Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Carlos. In today's video, we are going to be unpackaging my new shipment from Ipsy in the June Glam Bag Plus shipment. So if you want to know exactly what goodies I received in here, and hopefully they're good items, because you know, sometimes BoxyCharm and Ipsy, they're always those hit or miss packages. Anyways, you guys, so before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also give my video a thumbs up, click, like, however you want to call it nowadays. I don't know. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and see exactly what goodies I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus June shipment. Why does that sound so weird? Try, I guess it's because it's such a long phrase, a long sentence. Anyways, you guys, so there you guys go. So you can see exactly what goodies I received. Not the inside of the bag. No. <laughs> Not the inside of the packaging. No, I didn't. I swear. Anyways, you guys. All right, so let's take a look and see exactly what the box, or not the box, the bag looks like. The Okay, this is super cute. The draws. My God, my daughter's going to love this. I got to give it to her. She is going to absolutely love this. Put all her little toys in there. I can just see her now holding this. Oh my God, this is super cute. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Why is there something already squished in here? Oh, real quick. Okay, so this is my second month. I'm about to drop stuff. Receiving the Glam Bag Plus shipment. Can you not? Second month, right? I thought you get to choose products but I've never had the opportunity to choose anything yet. Is, am I missing something here? Leave a comment below, let me know, and educate me here. Like, am I missing something? Because I know I'm able to choose maybe one or two products off of the regular, like, glam bag shipment. But for the last two months, I have not received an email doing, like, choose, blah, 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 nothing. Anyways, just... Let me know if I'm doing something wrong because clearly I'm not sure anything that I'm getting. That made no sense. All right, you guys. So let me go ahead and take all the products out of here so we can see exactly what goodies I received because, yeah, I don't know what I'm getting. I honestly don't. Like, I thought you get to choose, like, three of your choices or two at least, but whatever. All right. So I got a little card in here, which I know is not a card letting me know what I received. So the first item that I have in my hand after I pull everything out. So we got a vitamin E balm from the company Feel. So I actually have a lot of lip balms. I kid you not, but I do enjoy them. I really do. So I'm debating, should I keep it or give it away? Um, let me not squeeze it out. Let me not taste, taste it. You, sometimes you do taste it, right? It smells okay. I haven't squeezed it, but it smells like it would. But you know what? Since I got like 20,000 of these, kid you not, I think I probably will pass this on to a friend or a family member because, yeah, I, like I really need another one. Anyways, you guys. So the next item that I have is Sunset to the Stars Lip Oil Dual. What I tell you, I have so many lip products. <laughs> All right, so let's just open the sucker up and see exactly how this looks like. I tell you, like, I swear, like if I get any more lip oils, lip balms, which is fine. I'm not, whatever. Like these, I will keep. Like these are actually really pretty. They really are. Let me show you really closely. Hopefully, you're able to see through the monitor, but they look like they have some good pigment. So let me go ahead. Do they have shade names? So. Mm, this one's Plumera Petal Petals. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's see. So is this a lip gloss? Or wait, it says Lip Oil Duo, but the consistency reminds me of like a lipstick. I don't know. So let's go ahead and swatch it. No, it's a very thick lip gloss. This is actually really pretty though. It really is. Let me, let me show you really quick. See that? Yeah, so it is a very pigmented Thick consistency lip gloss. Actually, I like this a lot. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it didn't change much, but it gave my lips a little bit of a tint. Okay, so I'm definitely, well, I already used it, so I gotta keep it. All right, so let's try this other one that I got here. Ooh, this is nice. This is like a sheer um, champagne color. Hopefully it picks up on your guys. And these would actually be great for lipstick 
toppers or liquid lipstick toppers. Absolutely. So this is, well, how do you pronounce this? Mohina Moon? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh, uh, there you guys go. Yeah. All right, you guys. So those definitely keeping, obviously. So the next item that I got, I actually have not received a product from this company in a minute. So I'm actually pretty excited to actually get this. So this is from the company 111 Skin. This is the Rose Gold Radiance Booster. So it's Booster Illuminating or Rose. I'm not sure. But what is this? I mean, what, okay. So this booster is formula formulated, excuse me, with rose something, blah, 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 something, something, something. Hmm, allow skin will absorb. Okay. Let's just say it. Let's just go to directions because I have no clue what that meant. Shake well before use. Mix one to two drops into the palm of your hand and with your favorite moisturizer. Okay. And apply directly to your skin after cleansing. Okay. So you just mix it with your moisturizer. Hmm, okay. I do know 111 skin is typically a little bit pricey in the higher end. Um, the bottle is really gorgeous. So I can definitely use this. I mean, it's simple enough, right? One, two drops. Put that. Oh, it smells so good. Can definitely put that into a moisturizer no issue whatsoever now the thing is you want to make sure that this doesn't counteract negatively with your moisturizer that you're going to be using so you know you want to be careful with that it does smell good but i am not going to lie it does have a little bit of a strong fragrance to it so if you're a person who doesn't like too much fragrance you may not like that all right so the next product that i received is from benton benton the company i believe because i don't think that's the company name what is this so this is aloe soothing gel is tested under dermatology control this product contains aloe vera rich in blah 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 um, okay soothing and leave skin refresh and hydrated so i'm assuming you probably would use this maybe like an after like sunburn or something like that um, I'm not going to lie. There are no directions. Oh, wait, there is. I, I lied again. Uh, directions for you. Supplies a suitable amount to face and softly pat into fully absorb until fully absorbed. Excuse me. But it doesn't necessarily say if I should use it. Is it, is it, do you want to use it because it's like preventing a sunburn or something? I don't know. Okay. Is this, um... I, is this, is this, oh, it's made in Korea. I was wondering that because of the font on the top. So, okay, so this is a Korean skincare type of product. Hmm, I honestly don't know. I never heard of this brand before. If you guys have ever used this before, leave a comment below. Let me know what the proper way of using this particular product because I definitely want to use it. And I don't want to use it the incorrect way because if this is to prevent like a sunburn, I'm wondering if I can apply this to my kids also because my kids are very fair skinned it. And when they're outside and also, um, I guess they're really for anyone's skin tone, um, just to kind of heal, you know, when you get that burn sensation, hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, if any of you guys have ever used this particular brand right here, leave a comment below, leave me some insight as to how to properly use this and when I should properly use it. Does that make any sense? Yeah, please educate me. So the last product that I receive is, um, I talked about this a while back in a BoxyCharm video, probably towards the end of the year, um, just because I think they're overly priced. So it's from the company Viziart. So this is a palette, right? Okay. Let's see how this looks. How come I can't get it out? Wait. I don't know. Wait, am I doing this wrong? Look, it has to be open that way because look, but why can I not? Oh, here we go. It's just really stuck in there. Oh, this is super cute. Small though. Okay. Hmm. How do you... Interesting. Okay, this is a nice travel size palette. This is actually really slick how they have this set up. So it looks like you got four shadows in here. So this is kind of nice because the top up here are mattes and then the bottoms are shimmers. But I am going to definitely point something out to you. They do look very loose in here. So let me take this off carefully. Yeah, one is loose. Hopefully you see that right there. 
yeah. So I gotta make sure that I'm careful with this one right here, because I can tell this one is going, <clears throat> excuse me, this one's going to pop out. But the shades actually are really pretty. So let me go ahead and swatch. Let me go and swatch this one right here. I don't know if they have names, to be completely honest. So they do feel creamy. I'll give them that. All right. This actually is really pretty. You see that? Look, it has a, a sheen to it. Let me go with into one of these mattes. Let me go into this coral shade right here. All right, the coral shade is a little bit more on a drier end, but nothing that's too severe. Okay, that one's pretty light. Hmm, okay. Let's go into this shade over here, a nice plum one. Again, this one is a matte shade. Looks, okay, looks decent. So let's go up above here. Hmm, that one didn't pick up. All right, let's try this again. Let's give it a fair review. Again, I haven't actually used this, so I guess I wouldn't be too fair if I didn't do a tutorial, but let's just try it one more time. Let's just see. Huh. Okay. All right, you see that? Hmm. I guess you would actually have to do a review on this because I, you know, when you're doing swatches and actual eyeshadow tutorial or review, you're going to get a different payoff. Um, I'll be optimistic about it. I'll give them kudos for the packaging and the cuteness of it all. I mean, that's really nice. And for the travel ability, I think this is actually pretty cool. Now, if it applies well, that's a different whole story. Anyways, you guys, so if, <laughs> anyways, you guys, leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in terms of my overall shipment. I'm actually pleasantly pleased with that. I'm not going to say I, there's something here that I don't enjoy. I just wish I had an option to choose the products that I was going to be getting in my Glam Bag Plus because I seriously thought I could, but I haven't chosen any of this. Anyways, you guys. Hey, if you received this particular variation, what are your thoughts and opinions about this particular collection of goodies that we received? Or some of them in here, they're like, oh, I wish I hadn't received it. You know what, though? I am happy that I did get these, and I am happy that I got the 111 skincare because this definitely I will be using. But overall, it's not a bad bag whatsoever. So anyhow, you guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, you automatically get the notifications. But until then, make sure you all brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye now.